Okay, welcome to the lab portion of the service password encryption lesson. I've got R1 up here and I'm going to do a show run just to show you what the running configuration looks like. I've gone ahead and I've configured a number of different passwords and a keychain and an authentication key, blah, blah, blah. As we can see here, let me go ahead and just get through all of the running configuration. Scroll back up. We can see like our enable password is packet lab and what I'm showing you here is that this is the default configuration by default no service password encryption is enabled so it's basically disabled so the passwords are going to show up in the running configuration in clear text mode the exception to this are any passwords that have the option secret specified those will always show up as an MD5 hash regardless of whether or not service password encryption has been enabled so in this case you can see that this is an MD5 hash because it's a type 5 hash and it's specified using secret so this command is not going to affect how these show up in the running configuration by default our enable password is in clear text and if we go down here I have a keychain uh, OSPF keychain or each chain is the name of the keychain the keychain string is in clear text I uh, got a couple other down here I've got a username again Here's another username. Username you can specify to use a secret, and in this case, I'm doing so, and I have an MD5 hash, so that is not affected by the command. And then under serial one, I have an OSPF authentication key. Again, ad nauseum, this is in clear text. We'll just go down to the bottom here with our line passwords. All the line passwords are in clear text as well. So as you can see, an over the shoulder attack would be pretty easy. If you're sitting here at your desk and you've got the obnoxious server dude over your shoulder, if you're scrolling through your running configuration, uh, he can see, oh, there's a username on there, Packet Lab, Packet Lab, pretty easy to remember. He's not going to be able to remember this most likely by just peeping it and good luck reverse engineering it. So that's, that's where the secret comes in. But this is not a lesson about the secret password. More importantly, your enable password is in clear text. That's something you probably don't want to get out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into configuration mode and this is a global configuration command uh, it's a command that's issued in global configuration mode if you go ahead and hit you type in service and hit uh, question mark to invoke the Cisco iOS help you'll see there are a ton of services that you can configure in global configuration mode the one that we're looking for is obviously the password encryption which is right here it says encrypt system password so Password. I just hit tab to auto complete it. Hit enter again. There's no arguments to go along with this. Let's go ahead and hit enter and we'll go from here. Do show run. For those of you that don't know, if you want to issue a privilege exec command from configuration mode, you just proceed that with the do. So I'm doing a show run. And I'll wait a second while this thinks. And here we go. Now we got our running configuration. So if your annoying server guy is over your shoulder, now when he takes a look at the enable password, it has been converted from packet lab into a string of hexadecimal characters. Not as easy to remember. And we'll see here as we go through here, or key string has been um, quote unquote obfuscated as well. And we'll see that this happened with the packet lab um, username password. As I told you earlier, it's not going to affect these secret passwords because those are already stored as MD5 hashes. So there's no reason to encrypt them any further. Here's our authentication key. And if we go down here, we can see all our line passwords have now been converted to hexadecimal strings. These we can tell are type seven passwords because they are preceded by a seven. So now while this protects against the over the shoulder password attack it's a lot harder to memorize the um, string of hexadecimal characters than it is to have just a, you know in this case an English word I did mention in the theory portion that this is an easily broken encryption I'm just gonna call it encryption I'm not gonna get mired in the minutiae of whether this is an encryption or not uh, you can go fight that out on the interwebs if you want if you type or Cisco type 7 decrypt into your favorite search engine then it'll come up with a grip of options here this guy out here we're out on ibeast.com it allows you to decrypt Cisco type 7 passwords the visionaire algorithm that Cisco uses has been published and you can actually go out and get the code to do this you could create a page like this if you wanted as well so what I did here is I went and I grabbed the VTY line password say oh great you know I I've, I've encrypted this but now I forgot what the hell it was I'll show you really quickly here that if you type no 
service password encryption, uh, you would think, okay, well, these were not encrypted before. I encrypted them. If I go ahead and do this, it's going to decrypt these commands. I'll do this a shortcut. I'll do a show run, include just passwords. So this is just going to show commands that include password. Oh, okay, so we come back up and we have turned off password encryption. We can see here that that is disabled. But as I stated in the theory portion, this does not decrypt these. Once these are encrypted, they're going to stay in your configuration encrypted. So they're going to have the seven and then the uh, hexadecimal string after them. So this does not go through and decrypt them. So if you've forgotten what one of these passwords are, this is not a quick and easy way to, to decrypt them and then encrypt them again once you figure out what they are. But this easily broken encryption. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the encrypted version of the VTY line password and I'm going to paste it into this website. Clicky clicky and you can see here my password is packet lab VTY which is true that's what it is. So just to hammer it home although this prevents or deters rather over the shoulder um, password attacks it's not a strong encryption and is easily broken so if somebody has your configuration they just need to go to the interwebs pop it in and they can reverse engineer these now with an md5 hash they won't be able to do that or at least they won't be able to do it very easily so there may come a time when you do need to recover a type 7 password and you can certainly go out to the internet but you're putting your trust into what that code is I wouldn't do that with an important password in a lab situation, who cares? But there is a way on a Cisco router. I'll break out of our configuration mode here. Uh, do a show key, if I can type, chain. I forget what the name of the keychain is here. If I just hit enter, it'll show me all keychains that are configured on this device. And if I do a show run section key chain, okay. I've configured a keychain named OSPF chain and when I enabled the service password encryption it went ahead and encrypted that keystring as a type 7 visionaire cipher encrypted password blah blah blah. But what's interesting and I'll reissue that command if I do a show keychain it gives me the name of the keychain tells me the key one and it gives me the text which is keystring which is what this is. If I pop back out real quick to the interwebs do I still have this up? this in just to verify for you. Keystring. So by default the uh, show keychain command shows the keystring decrypted. So we can use that to our advantage. So if I do a show run, let me do a section line VTY. So we're going to decrypt that VTY line again. The code, the uh, password on the VTY line. Let me get into configuration mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to configure a keychain. You do that from global configuration mode. Chain and then the name. We'll just call it decrypt. Oh hell, I'm just going to call it chain because I don't care to type that twice. You need to specify a keychain number. It can be anything from zero to a ton. We're just going to use key one. And now here's the part that you're going to want to cut and paste. So we're going to go and so I did a show run and the, the VTY line is this password. When you do this be sure to capture that seven. So I'm going to do key string and if you invoke the Cisco iOS help you can see that you can just type in a key string or you can put the number seven which means that the key string that you type in is going to already be encrypted. That's what we're going to do. So I've just created a keychain and made the key string this encrypted string right here. So I hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and break out. I can up arrow and show keychain. And you can show all keychains by hitting enter. If I go ahead and just type chain, that's going to just show me the output for that specific keychain. Hit enter and here you go. So what we've done is we've been able to reverse engineer what this password is on the VTY lines by putting it into a keychain and then issuing the show keychain, in this case chain, and you can see that there you go, Packet Lab VTY. So that's a way that you can do that on your device so that, that gives you a little bit more <laughs> peace of mind rather than going out to the, the big bad monster web and, and typing in your type 7 password because you're not sure what that code running behind that page is up to. It might be up to no good.